Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create items in monday.com from new Zendesk tickets. Now whenever a query or a ticket is raised in Zendesk, you want to add it to your monday.com list as a task that needs to be completed. So in order to do that again and again manually is a time taking one, but you can create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect for this process so that whenever a new ticket is created, an item is also created in monday.com. So here our trigger will be the new ticket created and our action will be the item created in monday.com. Let us learn how to do that. Okay, so let us integrate Zendesk and monday.com in such a way that whenever a new ticket is raised on Zendesk, then you have a new item created in your monday.com board over here. Like I have created a new board and this is my new list. And over here you can see that this is the ticket I just raised a while ago and we have the same item created over here. So we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account. And then I will reach this place where I can see the applications provided by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect for today's automation. Click on access now. And that's how you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you can see a big blue button on your right hand side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. Create items in monday.com from tickets raised in Zendesk. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see here on your screen. One box has trigger written over it and the other has action. Now the trigger means when this happens an action is do this which means that there it will be an application that you will choose and it will be called your trigger application. An event is going to take place in that application that we are going to call the trigger which will actually be responsible for what is going to happen in the action application and the action application will perform the assigned action. So the trigger application today is Zendesk because first the ticket will be raised in Zendesk and then an item will be created in monday.com that will be our action step. So the trigger event is new ticket and now we need to use this webhook URL that is provided to us by Pabli Connect to connect our Zendesk and our Pabli Connect so that whenever a new ticket is raised in Zendesk, Pabli Connect will get to know about it. So log into your Zendesk account and then follow these steps. So once you are here in your Zendesk account, you have to go to views and then manage views over here from the left panel only. When you reach manage views here, then you have to go to apps and integrations and webhooks. When you reach webhook, you have to create a new webhook over here. Click on create webhook and trigger or automation because this is the trigger. Okay, this is not an event. This is a trigger. When you select trigger or automation, go to next and give a name to it. So I'm going to name it as items in monday.com description is optional if you want to you can do in endpoint url you have to paste this part and paste it right here the request method is post and the requested format is json okay now after this what you have to do is when you have selected this part then click on test webhook button and send test so from when you come here click on send test this dialog box of so this sample will open up click on send test so you will see that you will be receiving a test over here when you clicked on send test then this is the test which is a success and you click on create webhook now that you have created a webhook finish this setup and then you will go to objects and rules again to the left panel over here from here you have to go to business rules and then triggers when you reach triggers from trigger you have to go to add trigger to your top right corner and then enter a trigger name. So the trigger for us is ticket raised. Okay, this is the trigger. Description again is optional and in category you have to select notifications that notify whenever a ticket is raised in Zendesk and condition is ticket is created. Okay, like this and then action you have to choose any action and the action over here is notify active webhook that which webhook is active you have to notify that one. So items in monday.com was the webhook. Okay, and then in this JSON body erase the last curly bracket and then copy this whole part before the last curly bracket copy and then paste it right here. After this click on create. And then a ticket has been raised. So we have completed all these steps. And now since it has already received this C, this is a sample one. We send a test. So this is the test one. Now we will again recapture it. Click on yes and go back to our Zendesk to create a ticket. Click on add and then select ticket. 
Now in case of requester, you have to either add a name or you have to enter any person who is already existing in Zendesk. Here I'm going to add a name and email address. Okay, click on add. Assignee to support. Okay, any followers? No. You can type the subject over here and the description of the problem is. Okay, this is the description. Click on submit as new and then a new ticket has been raised right here. When you go back to Babli Connect, you see this is the subject. The status is open and this is the person and here we have the description also. So now if you need the description in a proper way, you might need to take out this part from this description that is given to you. So for this purpose, we are simply going to use one feature that is built, built inside Pabli itself. We call it text formatter. It formats the text any way you want and it over here it is text parser. Text parser is that it takes the text after or before this area. So the text complete you have to map it right here. Description is what you want to parse and it has to be after this 03 or before this end. Okay. So what are you going to write? 03 after 03. Okay. Or you can write complete colon 03 and before. So if it's the new line or in the end and over here you can see we have the response. So click on save and then add a new step to it which is the last step which will be called our action application that is monday.com. Select your action application and the event is going to be create item. Like in the beginning I told you I have already created a new board and a new group over here and I have assigned or made columns right here. Okay, so we will be adding data inside this only. Click on add new connection and then you have to enter a token for monday.com to connect with Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can send a command for monday.com to create an item with the information that we are receiving as a response from Zendesk. So for this token, we need to go to our monday.com, click on the profile, go to administration. Over here you have in the left panel API. So there is this personal API token. You just copy it from here and paste it right here. So save and then it will be connected. See, it's connected. It will detect the board name also and the group name also. This is the one, our new board one and group zero one. So now you have to enter the item name. So what was the item name? The item name is the printer not working. This is the title. See, there is a name, but you have already given the name of the query to the item name which was required. So there is no need to fill in the name also. First of all, it's not a mandatory field. And next you can leave blank to ignore. So who was the assignee? The assignee is Zendesk. Then we have the query. So we took out the query from the text formatter. This is the query. And then we have the email. So the email is in the end, which is this, the assignee email. Now we will just click on save and send test request and wait for the response and see data create item ID. The item has been created. That is why we have received this ID. Click on save. And then we'll go back to here in our monday.com where we can see this is the item, the assignee, the query and then the email address is here which means that our workflow has been successfully created and it's working also. So let us do a quick recap. We took our trigger application as Zendesk. We created a ticket you, and we used this webhook URL to connect Fably Connect and Zendesk and follow all these instructions. And after that, when we received the response of the new ticket created, so we formatted the text. It's all up to you if you want to use the text formatter. And then we used monday.com as our action application where we wanted to create an item about the same details that were used to create a new ticket in Zendesk and successfully we were able to create that item. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.